So if we, for example, look at the string, what would astronomers do if there were no more stars? And we put it inside the variable we have called sentence. We can access words from the string by using indexing, such as x is equal to sentence. Then using the square braces, we can put inside the first value when you access it from, being 11 in this circumstance. And now we can use semicolon and we want to access it until the value of 22. We are putting in the minimum and the maximum value when you access it by, separated by a semicolon. So in this case, we print back x, we get the word astronomers. We can make y equal to sentence from 40 till the rest of the string. By leaving the second value empty, it simply says we want the rest of the string. Now we print back y, we get no more stars. We can make result equal to x plus, then the string of the equals sign, then plus y. Such that we print back result, we get astronomers equal no more stars. This is just a neat little anagram. So now for some string manipulations, if we want to print back in uppercase, we can make result dot upper, then use parentheses, such that we now get uppercase, we can use result dot lower for lowercase, then we can use result dot title to title it. If we'd like, for emphasis, do result plus the string, and now print back astronomers equal no more stars with an exclamation mark. For fun, if we'd like, we can also access the sentence in steps of two, such as sentence, then steps of two. Using two in the last braces, we can get something, and then we can use sentence in reverse step. For example, minus one, we're getting a reverse step. 